Hey guys, um, so as most of you know who've watched my channel, I have a Dodge Challenger with the 5.7 Hemi in it. Um, I've been looking at trying to do a few little upgrades here and there. I did the mid muffler delete, uh, which I, I really like the sound of the car now. And I don't know if it had any performance boosts or not, but it sounds better. Um, but one of the things I was looking at doing, it was, it was about time to replace the air filter anyway. And I was trying to figure out what the best air filter to use was. So of course, you know, the first thing I do is start looking at K&N. And then I hear that K&N has trouble because it's an oiled filter. The oil can mess up your mass airflow sensor on some cars. Um, these seem to be a little immune from that problem because the mass airflow sensor is not right up on the intake. But people have tested like the flow of them and the AEMs against a regular stock Hellcat paper filter. So of course I was intrigued. A Hellcat paper filter, if you order it online, I got one from Jegs, $22.99 plus uh, seven bucks shipping. But my question was the flow ratings. On the stock filter, it shows flow ratings and CFMs. Okay, I've got one right here to show you. Okay, so this is the stock air filter that came out of my car. All right, so if you look at the side of my filter, dust capacity 75 grams at 478 CFM. So what that means is when this filter is at its max dirty recommended use, it's gonna flow 478 cubic feet per minute of air, okay? The max airflow, this is clean, Max clean airflow is 731 CFM, okay? So then you compare that to a Hellcat filter. So here's the stock filter that comes in a Hellcat. If we look on the side here, you'll notice it doesn't give us CFM, but it does give us grams per second. So dust capacity at 75 grams, same as the other one, is 407 grams per second airflow okay max airflow 610 grams per second i'm gonna go ahead and throw the math up on the screen here and you will see this is what it translate out to on the hellcat in cfms so see this thing's over a thousand cubic feet per minute of air versus a little over 700 on this one 22.99 flows better than the AEMs and it will fit in most stock applications. Okay, so to some of you, maybe this isn't new news that the Hellcat flows better. I was having trouble figuring out, will this work in a 5.7? Lots of people are putting them in the 6.2s, but I wanted to make sure and it fits in mine. Mine's a 2015. So you're looking 2015 to 2017, I know for certain this filter will work. So save yourself some money, get a good Hellcat filter, but don't buy it from the dealer unless you can get it for under 30 bucks. Okay, see so your Chrysler part number's here. If you look this Chrysler part number up, it's gonna be about $55 at most dealers. But if you go to this company, search this on JEGS, it's the LX3482, $22.99. I got it shipped, it came in in two days with standard shipping, so that's awesome. And it'll fit right in. Hellcat filter, 5.7 liter motor, stock air box. Cool. So one thing I've noticed people like to post after putting in a different air filter is what their intake temperatures are with that new filter at different speeds and different outside ambient temperatures. Um, so. I'm going down the interstate, the engine's completely warm. I've been driving for like a good 30 minutes or so. And just to show you, um, I got cruise control on, we're at 78 miles an hour. So I'm, you know, when you get on it and you pull a, a rush of air, you will see the temperature drop. But just for regular cruising, uh, I'm looking at about a seven degree um, above outside ambient temperature when using the Hellcat filter. It, it's not a whole lot different than my other one, but I have noticed on takeoff and things like that, um, like earlier I, I took off, I'll get down within one degree of outside temperature. It, this thing's pulling a lot of air. I notice immediately that like, it seems like the car reacts a little a little faster or something, I, I don't know. It seems to me like it's breathing better. Here's the temperature here. So you'll notice outside temperature is 70 and I'm at 77 degrees on the intake at 78 miles an hour, which is right around 2000 RPM. Something I want to try real quick. Um, I'm going to slow down a little bit and then apply full throttle and we're going to see 
how the intake temperature is affected by a maximum amount of air flowing when you when you floor it. You know, just uh, for a, a quick acceleration, it dropped down to 75 degrees. So we're still within uh, five degrees of ambient. That's not bad. It did work in my 5.7 Hemi. It fit fine. Um, I have experienced no problems whatsoever. And I seem to have a little bit of a performance increase. I mean, I really do. And my air temps are staying a little bit cooler. So, all right. Well, I think this concludes the uh, little Hellcat air filter tutorial. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting more things on. Uh, the more people I get watching videos, the more motivated I get to keep producing videos. I appreciate it, guys. Tune in next time.